Hello there and welcome to the living room floor of the dollhouse for another reading from The Secret Language of Birthdays by Gary Goldschneider and Hugh Stelfers. Now, why are we on the living room floor, you're probably wondering? Well, my friends, the wheel of the zodiac has shifted ever so slightly and taken us from the Capricorn sign from the 12 signs of the zodiac and taken us through to the Aquarius sign. So we're down here on the floor to get down in the foundation. Find out what that's all about. So let's dive in, shall we? The Aquarius sign takes place from January 21st on through to February 19th. The element is air. The quality is fixed. The ruler is the planet Uranus or Uranus, depending upon how you like to say it. And the symbol is the water bearer. The mode is thought. And the motto is I universalize. All right. Let's dive in with the Aquarius breakdown, shall we? All right. Aquarius. Aquarius is the 11th sign of the Zodiac. And along with Capricorn and Pisces, increasingly universal in orientation. It is the third and last air sign after Gemini and Libra and is ruled by the explosive planet Uranus. Aquarius symbolizes advanced thought, which takes us out of our physical state and allows us to view the infinite in all things. Aquarius also represents acceptance of all points of view and shows the universal wisdom inherent in thoughts and actions. The water bearer brings clear truth and eternal wisdom of which we may all partake. And its ruler, the planet Uranus, is erratic in its motions and is powerful enough to break down any resistance. Its energies must be tamed and guided in the proper direction without dulling their impact. And Aquarius teaches the values of science and extrasensory powers and signifies the new millennium that we are poised to enter in which our world will be transformed. Aquarius may be seen as an evolutionary stage between Capricorn and Pisces that transmutes aspiring, earthy, and pragmatic energies into diffuse, watery, and otherworldly ones. All right, that's been the Aquarius breakdown, so let's move on to the Aquarius personality. All right. If Aquarius is taken to represent the 11th period of life, to say age 70 through to 77, the Aquarius personality can be characterized by increasing detachment from earthly life, as well as childlike, somewhat fanciful, but wise attitude. The highly accepting orientation of the Aquarian transcends material restrictions or limitations. However, the rulership of Uranus lends an unpredictability, eccentricity, and erratic quality to the Aquarius personality. And those born under the sign often have a reputation for all sorts of idiosyncratic behavior. Trying to outguess an Aquarian may prove to be an impossible task. Also trying to regulate their behavior by tying them to repetitive jobs which require consistency generally does not work either. Aquarians should be given as much latitude as possible to exercise their imaginative powers and placed under as few restrictions as possible. Joy is essential to the Aquarius personality. Often Aquarians are baffled and bewildered by rejection, and since they approach life with a basically open attitude. They can be far more accepting than others and consequently assume that others will accept them as well, which is often not the case. Furthermore, they like things to go easily. A wish for happiness and understanding pervades everything they do. But if confronted with conflict or stressful demands, they can fly off the handle, go on the attack with lightning speed, or simply choose to disappear. Aquarians are promoters of high ideals, valuing scientific and universal truths highly. And they strive to maintain objectivity, or maintain objectivity rather, and for this reason are sometimes accused of coolness or a lack of emotion. 
And because they can skate with ease across the surface of life, sizing up situations and reacting speedily, some find Aquarians too superficial in their approach. Paradoxically, Aquarians are often, are often irresistibly attracted to those profound, darker aspects of others that seem to figure less prominently in their own personality. All right, that's been the Aquarius personality. So let's move on to some of the finer details of Aquarius there. To say the particulars, if you like. All right, here are the periods and their associated images. All right, we have the Capricorn Aquarius cusp, uh, which takes place from January 21st on through to the 22nd. And the image is mystery and imagination. We have the Aquarius 1 period, uh, which takes place from January 22nd on through to the 30th and the image there is genius we have the Aquarius 2 uh, which takes place from January 31st on through to February 7th and the image is youth and ease we have Aquarius 3 February 8th through the 15th which the image is acceptance and the Aquarius Pisces cusp February 16th through to the 19th and the image there is sensitivity all right, here are some Aquarius stones and their uses. We have the Amazonite, which opens up inspirational faculties. We have the Aquamarine, which releases emotions and combats depression. Uh, the Hemiotite, which helps ground your radiant influences. And Amber, which calms restlessness. Moving on to some Aquarius colors, we have Electric Blue, Silver Gray, and it says fluorescent colors aqua aquarius rather body areas uh, lower legs and ankles as well as the circulatory system some aquarius keys and compositions we have the d major and some examples being magnificent by johann sebastian bach missy solemis by beethoven uh, we also have uh, violin concertos by Brahms and Tchaikovsky, also Mozart and Beethoven, and the First Symphony by Mahler. We also have the F sharp minor, uh, F sharp minor major piano sonata by Beethoven, the Tenth Symphony by Mahler, and uh, we also have the Kimoni Ostro by Rubinstein. And moving on to some Aquarius plants, we have dandelions, and it says resins of frankincense and myrrh. Here are some Aquarius trees for you. January 21st, the birch. Uh, January 22nd through to February 18th, the rawin or mountain ash. And February 19th, the ash. And here are some attractions there for the Aquarius. Uh, Aries, Gemini, and Libra. And finally, some Aquarius notables for you here. We have Placidio Domingo, Gina Davis. We also have Lord Byron, uh, Janine Moreau, Mikhail Baryashavakov, uh, Anna Pavlova, uh, Stephanie Grappelli. We also have Virginia Woolf, uh, Langston Hughes, Angela Davis, uh, Lewis Carroll. Uh, let's see here, Humphrey Bogart. Colette, it says, W.A. Mozart, and Oprah Winfrey. All right, and this has been the Aquarius Zodiac sign. Hopefully you took something of interest from it uh, here because you were born in the period, or if you're here just randomly because you had a general interest, I hope you took something from it, something of value. But if you're born in this period or otherwise, if you want to dive in, find out more about what ostensibly makes you tick specifically, well, hey, just head on over to the channel. I got birthday readings for just about every birthday. We're building up to read all of them. So uh, hopefully you enjoy yourself here. And if you did, head on over there. At any event, thanks for joining us. Take care of yourselves.